that was kind of fucked up, but oh well. Time to break out the end mills. Oh, that works great. Okay, so this works in either direction. I believe it's off an old truck or something. It's definitely got some, uh, at least oil if you have it over sideways, that's for sure. so quiet too it's a lovely you know this little billings wrench has to be one of the most useful wrenches I've ever bought. 25 cents at a yard sale. Seems like every project I have to use it. died sorry that is the weirdest looking air compressor I've ever seen Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Perfect for a sandblaster. Here's something I whooped together a couple years ago. I think it's the beginnings of a like a hopper feed sandblaster. A dirt dauber made a nest in there, that's why.
stupid dirt daubers. Oh well. Well guys, I must apologize for what I would see as a, or I see as a moral failing. I bought a sandblasting kit from China, which is a fascist regime currently committing a genocide and, you know, tried covering up a pandemic and, well, it escaped from other labs. That's, that's been proven by uh, job listings. And that's one of the reasons why I try to build my own things is just so that I don't have to buy stuff from China. I didn't have to buy stuff now, but I just, it was so easy and tempting just to buy, it was like 13 bucks. And honestly, I, I just do feel kind of bad about that. But it came in the mail, I bought it, and from now on I can try my try to make a bigger effort to not need that help from a genocidal regime. There we go. When you know I find a much better part already taken apart. Oh well. I'll save this for the rocket project though, because it's nice it's nice. This is not going to be carrying liquid oxygen, though. It doesn't need to be nice looking. Can't help but notice these aren't tapered threads. So, or like NPT or whatever the term is, so... Maybe they are. It's hard to tell, though. I do have something to fill that. A little kind of busted gauge, but at the very least it'll save me time from having to look for a little, what is it, a quarter inch, whatever the size is, NPT cap. All right, now let's see if this can work at all. I have it on the fastest setting. I can just move this over and go onto one of the smaller pulleys if I need higher pressure, but it'll be slower feed rate. But I have that half horsepower motor that I just restored. And if we really want, I can put that on here. It's really heavy though, so I might need to redesign that. That goes 100 psi. <laughs> That's a bit much. I'm gonna take off that gauge and put on a pressure relief valve. So it's a question of 150 psi or 163 psi. However, I think it might be best just to unscrew this to get it down to like 100 psi or something. Okay. So now I'm gonna remove that. Remove the ball, so that should be open. And we can make sure that's all flowing through correctly. Good. That's pretty low PSI then. Might be running that motor a bit hard. It's not hot, but eh, you know, it's questionable. Oh, this cable's pretty hot though. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I actually am pretty prepared for some of these projects. 
I was cleaning up my my workshop and my couple of sheds, and I've been collecting a lot of things into this shed that are for future projects. And one of them happens to be this pile of sand, which has been drying for like four years now, because back in like 20, well, six years actually, 2014, I found this and I was like, you know what, that's some really nice sand. I'll take some home from the creek and let it dry for a few years and then we'll go for sandblasting. And it is. That's what preparation is good for. However, this stuff's also good at killing you with uh, silicosis, cancer, whatever it is. So that should be enough to keep the safety-minded people at bay. I think it's a nice little mask for the job. Just peel that off, that tape I put on there, and it'll keep any dust out for sure. And any chemical attacks too. It did work. Look at that. It actually worked. Now there's a little bit of oil that came out because we'll have to fix that that pump because it has uh, it was over on its side and has some oil up in the valve section so we'll have to take it apart and see how it does. But it might be a good idea to re redo this design to have two pumps working in parallel and have a larger motor and then, then we'd have enough power to to really do this. But look at that. That's, that's definitely sandblasting. Definitely sandblasting. And I have like a hazmat suit I can use whenever I'm doing it um, seriously. And then I can just I can just wear that and it won't get it over my clothes. Because that's the real concern now, just getting it on my hands and clothes. It's just annoying. So that gas mask works very well at keeping it out. I might put like a coffee filter on the bottom to help keep stuff from getting stuck in there because I want this to last as long as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya! <laughs>